And if I'm honest, I think that my struggle, you know, listen, some we all struggle with this in different ways. And some people struggle with it on Instagram, right? They're looking at somebody else's life. And that's not as much my struggle because I love the unfollow button. I just click unfollow and then I don't have to see it anymore. But for me, it's more of a struggle when I become a little bit self-righteous, like, why is that person succeeding? I don't understand it because that I, I know some of the real stuff of their life and I don't understand why God seems to be blessing them when they really don't deserve that blessing because did you know, and then all of a sudden you even find yourself in conversations that are absolutely full of gossip, but you, you do it in this like super shiny spiritual way, at least I do, where I'm like, well, you know, I just really feel like we need to pray for her talk about praying for someone. That's when it comes out with me is, it's like you say you're praying for somebody, but it's really veiled gossip. And so I get so convicted when I have this conversation because I'm like, oh no, I do that. I so do that. And it's funny because just the other week I was on a Zoom call for, for, um, on this music blog and I get on the Zoom call and this guy named Clive Davis was on the Zoom. Now, if you're not in music, that name might mean nothing to you, but <laughs> if you are in music, Clive Davis is like, I got on the call and I was like, I fell off my chair. But he, he said something that I was like, this man does not even know that he's preaching right now, but he is preaching. He said this right. statement. He said, when something is succeeding that you don't understand, or when someone is succeeding and you're like, they don't deserve to succeed, instead of wasting your energy trying to discredit it, Instead, try to understand it. And I was like, oh my goodness. So for me, when I find myself being jealous of something or envious, and I'm envious of what somebody has or a success that they have, instead of trying to discredit it in my mind of like, why is that happening for them? understand not only that the Lord is the one who gets to decide that, right, what's happening, the blessing and the success, but also try to understand why that's coming up in me. So instead of trying to discredit it in them, begin to understand the root of where that's coming in me. And, and some days I, I do a little bit better at that than others. <laughs> I think we hear so often about how we, life is compared to a race, that we're running a race and we're running in our lane, right? And I think so often um, we, we think about looking at somebody else's lane and what they're running. And if, if you can't stay focused on the race that you're running in the way that God has called and created you to run it, then you're, you're never going to fully run that race with the power and the strength that he's equipped you to run. I feel like I just had a real life example of this literally just the other week because one of my daughters is in cross country and she has a friend who's, who's just consumed with how fast my daughter is running. And I watched it play out in real time. You know, it happened in practice and she would say little things to try to discourage, my daughter's name is Bella. She tried to discourage Bella like, you know, don't do this or you're not doing this right. Well, in the race, I watched this sweet girl and she she was so consumed with looking back and looking over her shoulder to see where Bella was and how Bella was running that she ended up running kind of sideways because she couldn't keep her balance. She couldn't keep straight mm -hmm. because she was so consumed with what somebody else was doing and are they going to wow. beat me and are they going to catch me? And guess what? I watched Bella and she just had her eye on the prize. She just kept her focus straight ahead. She never looked to the right or to the left, she just kept running. And all of a sudden she passed her and kept running across that finish line. And it wasn't about winning or losing. It was about running her race to the best of her ability and keeping her focus forward. And I feel like I even learned a lesson that day from my daughter saying, wow, I too often am looking over here or looking over here or am distracted by so many things that take me out of my lane of running with the strength and the power that he's actually equipped me with, that he's put inside of me to be able to run my race, right? And I feel like that distraction sometimes is what makes us get a little bit cockeyed. We get a little off course because we start running a little bit sideways. 
Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.